Ladies and gentlemen, after years of waiting for a new Apple, we finally have ourselves a new Apple. This is the Wild Twist Apple. And shout out to one of my co-workers for letting me know this Apple was available. DK, the Flying Hawaiian, Akuna Matata, Aloha, Mihalo, Sukasa, Asukasa, The Rock, Terramana, whatever. Thank you, brother, for letting me know this Apple was available. This Apple has its own website, um, wildtwistapple.com. It is, uh, says it's a combination of the great... Uh, Honeycrisp and Crips Pink, the juicy explosive crunch and juice or whatever of uh, Honeycrisp it says, and the intricate flavors of the Crips Pink. Now Crips Pink is Pink Lady, um, just by a different name. It you know what light through yonder wood window break a light, you know would not a rose by any other name smell as sweet. You know that's Pink Lady and Crips Pink for a little Shakespeare, perfectly executed on my part. And that's the twist. That's the two flavors. Um, it's made by the Huss Brothers, apparently, and it comes to us from the East Coast. I think it said Pennsylvania. I'm not going to look at it again. Um, obviously, this one is from Washington State, and uh, let's try it out. So I already bit into it and filmed, and for whatever reason, my phone just shut off in the middle of it, and uh, I lost that. So I have bitten it already. I'm going to just give you it so you can hear the crunch again. Oh, you know, I, I always talk about like the color. So it's just a vibrant red, pretty basic, like, apple with some white freckles. Oh, great. I'm going to sneeze. Sneeze is over. All right. Here we go. So the crunch is pretty good. And we grade these, remember, on spinal oil. Crunch, juice explosion, all up in your mouth hole. Um... Chewing gum effect, how long does it hold the flavor from the initial bite of apple? And, uh, you know, this apple's kind of disappointing compared to what its namesake is. Um, I don't think it really is as good as a Honeycrisp, and I don't think it's as good as a Pink Lady. It's not bad. If you see it, you should try it just to try it. But given what it's based off of, it is, it is kind of disappointing to me. Now, whenever you go get an apple... Uh, like, it's not always created equal. Like, you can buy shitty Cosmic Crisp. It's, it's hard to do, but you can find ones that suck. You can find Pink Ladies that suck. They're maybe they're just a little bit out of season. They don't have, like, quite the intended level of crisp and juicy explosion. So maybe that's what's going on with this one. And if that's the case, you know, maybe I'll do an update if I happen to bite into one of the other ones that I have. And it just really blows my mind. But as of right now, just... Kind of on the disappointingness alone of this, it's going to be like a 7.3, 7 7.4, I think 7.3 just because I'm knocking it down for pissing me off. Uh, but it's not bad. I mean, that's why the 7s are the 7s is because, you know, most apples taste like apples and are pretty good. This is a pretty good apple. Try it if you have it nearby, but I don't think it's going to change your apple game in life, so... Uh, before my phone just shuts off again and I lose all my footage, thank you for watching uh, Schmapple Reviews with Chad. And uh, sorry it took a year to find a new Apple, but sometimes that's just how it be. Kisses.